When we speak about boosting immune system, in most cases, we mean improved immune system against common infections, such as influenza, COVID-19, common cold, and other infections. The most popular belief to boost immunity is taking vitamin C, but most evidence-based way to boost immunity is vaccination. So, first an important rule, stay up to date on recommended vaccines. Second, obesity has been correlated with a higher occurrence of chronic diseases. Research findings indicate that obesity increases infectious diseases risk. Even, COVID-19 severity is related to BMI greater than or equal to 28. Obtain or maintain healthy weight is important way to improve immunity. Third, although it is well known that exercise is a very active booster of immunity, whereas stress strongly alters the immune response. Regular moderate intensity exercise is beneficial. Improvements in immunity due to regular exercise of moderate intensity may be due to reductions in inflammation, maintenance of thymic mass, immune cells, enhanced immunosurveillance, enhanced recirculation of immunoglobulins, anti-inflammatory cytokines, neutrophils, NK cells and lymphocytes, all of which play critical roles in immune defense activity and metabolic health. Amelioration of psychological stress, which can suppress immune system activity. Fourth, several nutraceuticals have been reported to have a significant impact on enhancing the immune system and aid in the treatment and or protection of viral infections, particularly influenza-like diseases. Improving the body's immune system is the top reason for consuming nutritional supplements. The immune boosters market includes vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, probiotics, and functional foods. U.S. National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey showed that over 50% of the U.S. population reported the use of supplements. Studies showed that after influenza vaccination, the supplementation of vitamins A and D raised the humoral immunity of pediatric patients. In patients with torque tenovirus, TTV, dietary supplementation with high levels of zinc resulted in improved immunity. Vitamin D can modulate the innate and adaptive immune responses. Deficiency in vitamin D is associated with increased autoimmunity as well as an increased susceptibility to infection. Vitamin D has important roles in addition to its classic effects on calcium and bone homeostasis. As the vitamin D receptor is expressed on immune cells, B cells, T cells and antigen-presenting cells, vitamin D can modulate the innate and adaptive immune responses. Vitamin C takes part in the development and functionality of various immune cells and the production of antibodies. Vitamin C enhances the function of epithelial barrier against pathogens. It could accumulate in neutrophils to promote chemotaxis phagocytosis and with subsequent microbial killing. It is also required for apoptosis and neutrophil clearance from the infection sites, which resulted in a reduction of necrosis and possible tissue damage. In B and T lymphocytes, vitamin C might promote the cellular differentiation and proliferation due to its gene-regulating activities. Therefore, vitamin C supplementation seems to be able to prevent and treat the respiratory and systemic infections. Vitamin E also has functions in regulating the immune response. But, numerous studies showed that supplementation with vitamin E could have harmful effects on the immune system, especially in cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Zinc. Many studies have proven that many microelements, especially zinc, intensify the immune response. Zinc regulates the signaling pathways in the cells of both specific and nonspecific immunity. Zinc deficiency is a very common disorder and almost one-fifth of the global population is at risk. Zinc enhances or maintains the cytotoxic activity of NK cells. 
has a key function in the differentiation and growth of immune cells. Enhances the phagocytic activity of peritoneal macrophages and monocytes. Helps the production of antibodies, mainly Ig. Another risk factor that can cause acute infections in the respiratory system is iron deficiency. Both hosts and pathogens use iron. Iron deficiency can weaken the immune system. Prebiotics and probiotics. The utilization of probiotics has been determined to be very beneficial for improving immunity. Lactobacillus based probiotics are recommended for the prevention of influenza like viral infections. Lactobacillus-based probiotics have been reported to have beneficial effects in viral infection, and they may be used along with proper energy and nutritional intake. Prebiotics also useful. They stimulate of immune system, which can be direct or indirect through increasing population of beneficial microbes or probiotics, especially lactic acid bacteria and bifidobacteria in the gut. And finally fifth. Healthy diet. The majority of immune cells within the human body are found within the gut associated lymphoid tissue, reflecting the importance of this immune tissue in maintaining host health. In ingesting food, we expose ourselves to near constant and massive antigenic stimulation, and our immune system must be able to provide strong and protective immunity against invasive pathogens while tolerating food proteins and commensal bacteria. So, healthier our diet, better environment for our immune system functioning. Also, protein-rich foods such as meat, milk, egg, bioactive peptides, and others are important for enhancing the immune systems and the body health. Proteins represent the framework of body cells, defense system, hormones, and enzymes that control the functions of the different body systems. Fish is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, such as docosahexaenoic acid, DHA, which is essential for the immune system. Plant-based foods increase the intestinal beneficial bacteria which are helpful and make up of 85% of the immune system. By the use of plenty of water, Minerals like magnesium and zinc, micronutrients, herbs, food rich in vitamin C, D and E, and better lifestyle one can promote the health and can overcome infections, including COVID-19 infection.